Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make like a computer slash printing system. Like you sit, you sit in a chair, and then um, you type, you type up uh, what's it called? What you want to be on the paper? And then you click enter. Then boom, it prints out for you and stuff. So yeah, it's been a minute since I did a video. This will be my first video in like a week, I think. I've got been busy with school and stuff during the week and stuff. But yeah, now the reason why this is already made is uh, what's it called? Because one, this is a commission I'm doing for somebody else. Like I made this for someone else, and then they paid me to make this stuff like that. And I was just like, this could be a great video idea, you know? It's great video. That's why everything else is pre-made and stuff. Because I made it and it took me a minute, and I just know, like, considering like, considering I literally just figured out how to like finalize and make sure everything works, I know for a fact I wouldn't know everything off the top of my head, and I probably would forget a, a step or something like that. So no point in wasting people's times but yeah i'll go through every, like every uh all of the steps so we can get there reminder that you guys can join my discord and roblox group links can be found in the description and stuff so yeah but yeah let's get straight into it all right so first things first you guys need a chair of course and a printer now for the chair you, you can go in a workspace and then just click the plus sign then type in seat and then yeah, and then you could rename it to chair, right? Because in a realistic setting for a game, it would be a chair that the player sits in, and then um, it would then like pop up the UI and stuff. But like it's just gonna be this little black uh, this little uh black part, which is still a chair though. It still functions as a chair. Then we have this, which is our printer, which is just the part the paper is gonna like spawn like. I believe on top of it. Yeah, I believe it's. I believe it's one. It's either on top of it or to the side of it. But I think. It's, never mind. I think it's on the side of it. But the point is, this is the printer where the paper comes from and stuff, right? You want to go into replicate storage and insert a remote event. Then rename it to print event, right? And then you guys want to go on over to sto server storage. And then you want to make yourself a paper, right? You can make this in workspace. Then yeah, you should you should make it in workspace and then put it in server storage, right? So this is the paper and stuff. It literally is just is literally just a blank white like white part and stuff like that. Like make it look like a uh, paper and stuff. Then you want to insert a billboard GUI, right? I mean, not a billboard, my fault. A surface GUI, a surface GUI. My fault, guys. You want to insert a surface GUI. So type, go, literally go to the part which is your paper, then type in surface GUI, right? And then of course you can mess around with the settings and stuff. Make sure it's facing the correct like upward and stuff. Um, yeah. And then insert a text label into that, and then make the text blank. You want, you want the text to be blank. The text is going to be whatever the player types in and stuff, right? Then once you're done. You just drag it back on over to server storage and then boom, leave it there. All right. Uh, I want to say first things first, I want to do uh, starter player scripts. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be how we enable the computer screen, right? So the way this works is the chair, which is this, the player, which is obviously the player, then check. This is a variable to see if, um, what's it called? It's going to keep running this check over and over again until it detects that a player is sitting inside of and sitting in the chair right so it's gonna continue running this check while check is true and stuff and it's gonna wait until the chairs occupant that name is equal to human day which pretty much means a player is sitting in the chair right then it's gonna enable the GUI for said player and stuff right and then it's gonna set the check to false so it'll stop checking then when the player stops touching it then it's going to uh, what's it called it's going to set the check back to true to just wait for the next player to sit back down in it. Whether it be the next player, like a different player, or the same player sitting back down in it. But yeah, though. Um, yeah. All the scripts will be in the description. So, like, if you're, like, trying to, like, type it like type it while I'm on the screen. I mean, you could do that, but scripts are in the description and stuff. But yeah, though. So, that's how we're going to enable this, right? And then next thing. I, um, I want to go over the GUI, right? I'm going to enable it, right? So, the way this is, right? It's an image label. That's the Windows background and stuff. You, you just insert an image label, right? And then you would just go here and then insert the image, right? So I inserted a Windows image to make it look like a computer because that's why I'm pretty much making it a computer, right? And this is an app, right? It's the paper. It's the paper app where like you, you can type and stuff and print things out, right? So and this is a image button. The only difference is this is image button, same image and stuff like that, right? So inside of the home screen image right 
we have the open paper image which pretty much means when the player clicks this it'll open the app so pretty much it's going to set make sure everything is named correctly if you're copying this exactly make sure all of this is named the exact same right you want to make sure all of this is named the exact same just so make sure you guys can see it but yeah though um but yeah so i'm just setting the uh what's it called i'm setting the app like when they click the open app uh icon we'll say we're gonna make the app screen visible. We're gonna make the close button for the home screen not visible. And then we're making the open paper image, like the open the app button, obviously invisible too, right? Not visible, invisible, same thing. But yeah, though. then we have the close button, which pretty much just, it closes out the, uh, what's it called? Like it pretty much disables the GUI. And that would be right here. That'd be this button right here. Then we have the, we have the stuff inside of the paper app. This is the close button inside of the paper app. Now what this does is closes out the paper app screen. It clo it uh, what's it called? It makes the paper app screen uh, X button. It closes that out. It makes it not visible anymore. Then it re-enables the what's it called? The uh, what's it called? The icon to open the paper app, as well as the X button for the home screen, right? So yeah, that's it for the close script. Then you have the paper app text box which is pretty simple this pretty much is a remote event and stuff you can only get the player's text on a local script so that's why we have to use a remote event so you just do look upon event then when the player focus loss of which means when a player clicks enter or like left clicks like while they had the thing selected to type in the text box it'll fire server and send over the text that the player had right that text and then that's it for the GUI now the text will then send over to the printer printing handling script right which is we have the local paper, the printer, and the print event, right? So pretty much what happens is print event to on server event, this the player, then the text. Of course, if we're gonna clone the paper in server storage, we're gonna set its parent to game dot workspace. Then we're going to set its text to uh what's it called? You don't need this anymore. The reason why I had had two string was because um I was trying to figure out I was trying to uh like we can say troubleshoot but I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working before. I had it wrong before but yeah though. So you just put text here. This is the player's message we'll say. Then you set the position to the printer dot position plus vector three dot new zero zero five which I think is just setting it like to the side of it pretty much. But yeah though um disables UI and yeah that's pretty much it. Um remind you that all the scripts will be in the description and stuff so yeah. If you need any help, leave a comment down below or join the Discord so we can, if I sit down, it appears, we left click on here, then let's type, this really is cool. Click enter, left click, left click to close out, get up, and then look, this is really cool. This is our paper. Yeah, it goes to the left, but yeah. So yeah, that's it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything, questions, comments, anything, uh, you can join the Discord and ping me or DM me an ax, or you can leave a comment down below. Hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, be able to leave a like, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for all the support you guys have been showing. And yeah, let's get closer to 300 subscribers. We finna, finna get into November. And yeah, I'll see you guys.